All right, around town, creating something that is usually found in the ocean, right here in Central Ohio. Is my mic on? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, so it's normally found <laughs> in the ocean. It's grown right here in Central Ohio. Cameron Fontana is live in New Albany at a coral reef farm. So cool, Cam. Wow. That's my Pete Cameron. We're about the coral reef. I'm just kidding. We're on the other side of the tank. This over here is Saltwater Todd with Reef Systems Coral Farm. How you doing, Todd? Pretty good. Man, this is so cool. I want to go around because we're really giving viewers like a fish tank on their TV screens. What do you do here? We raise uh, we raise corals, um, and we try to give um, people a sustainable source of uh, corals for the reef tank. And the difference between like a coral farm like this or somewhere you find anywhere else is what? Mainly we're taking, we have mother colonies and we're constantly fragging from them and cutting off little babies, if you will, and letting them grow up. They're gonna be a lot hardier, more disease resilient, um, cleaner animals, and then we sell them to hobbyists and they, they take them home and put them so in their tanks. So basically they're raised here in New Albany. Yes. It's not like you're taking it from somewhere else, they're raised over there and then you just stick it in your tank. I mean, all the corals obviously originated, mm -hmm. you know, from Bali, Fiji, Indo, but we have animals that I've had for 18 years. Wow. Um, How many even gallons longer. worth of tanks do you have here? About 15,000 gallons. 15,000, I do want to take note of this one. This right here is a clam? Yes. How old is it? Uh, about 10 years. Oh my gosh, look at that, it's beautiful. When we first got it in, it was probably only about three inches. Wow, and it's grown to that big. And people can come out, they, you said they can do tours, right? Yep. We've had um, senior citizen groups come out. We've had schools, high schools. We've done internships with schools. Um, and we've had dive clubs come out. Wow. So yeah, we have a lot of people to come out. You don't have to, you don't have to pay for anything. A lot of people just show up. They hear about it and they're like, what is this place? So they just come out and check it out. Well, that's what we're going to do this morning. We're going to tell you all about it. We're going to toss it back to you. I know Seth is going on a call. They can help you with coral tanks at home. And I think we're going to build one for our desk this morning. Oh, isn't this cool? I just want you that guys is to really like cool. Really <clears throat> I'm feeling more peaceful just looking at it, Cam. Yeah, I'm very feeling nice. like maybe I'm in Hawaii. You know, something, something kind of fishy is going on this morning. <laughs> Cameron Fontana, he is live at the Reef Systems Coral Farm in New Albany. And Cam, that is some pretty cool stuff you get to see. Yeah, this is really interesting, Karen, because we're actually showing you how coral is grown. And I had no idea, coral is alive, right? Yeah, it's actually an animal. Um, and most of the time when we fragment them, uh -huh. we just cut them with like bone cutters or a little saw or just snap them with our fingers. So when you mean fragment, basically you have these pegs and you can see super glue right here. You take a bigger piece and is it, you break it off? Yeah, basically this would be like, this is like the mother. Uh-oh, we got a fish stuck up. Oh, look, there. there's a fish in there. Look at, we got a fish. <laughs> so you got the mother coral right there yep. and you break a piece off and then this just grows on its own? Yeah, I mean, you can actually see that it's growing. We super glued it, but okay. you can actually see this edge, leading edge is growing. And then that. we saw that. And then the longer it sits here, this is a bigger piece. And you could see, I mean, it doesn't even look like you broke it off. No, it, it grows very quickly. How fast did it get from you breaking off a small piece to this piece right here? Uh, maybe six months. Six months? Even less sometimes if the tank is doing really well. So when people are putting these in their tanks and they're constantly growing, I'm assuming you have to watch it because it can actually outgrow the tank that they're in. Yeah, actually a lot of people upgrade. Like we always say in the first couple of years, when somebody's successful and they get the right information, yeah. which is where we come into play, um, we actually have hobbyists that literally bring us corals and we trade with them as well. So it's so, like almost like coins and stuff. <laughs> Except these are alive animals. Yeah. Look at that. And how many different types of corals do you have here? I mean, are there like species? How does that work? We probably have, I mean, honestly, I'm not really sure, but yeah. maybe 50 different species or more. So there are different species because I'm seeing like, I'm just going to pull this out yeah, right here. Fine. What's this one? That's a brain coral. Oh, because it looks like a brain. Yeah. Brains. <laughs> I love that name for it. And you guys also install uh, coral reef systems into people's houses. So where can people find you like online? Um, you can go to uh, reefsystems.com. Okay. Um, we also have a Facebook page that we update regularly. Um, and obviously, they can give us a call here at the farm during regular hours, Wednesday through Sunday. Very nice. Well, we're going to toss it back to you in the studio. This is my new favorite coral right here. It is brains, because I don't have a lot, so maybe this makes up for it. It is the brains, the brains. All right, thanks. We'll check in with you again in a few minutes, Cam. Well, around town. We are going underwater, well, sort of. Yeah, Cameron Fontana live at a coral reef farm 
in New Albany. This is such a cool looking place, Cam. This is Pete, and we're learning some more information this hit. We're with, to my right, Josh, and then back with Todd. How you guys doing? Great. Good. So we're talking about these different types of clams that are in here, and there are so many different colors here. Uh, how do they breed like that? Um, these are all from, like, Cocos Islands and Marshall Islands, and there's people there that do broadcast spawning. And, so um, you said broadcast spawning. What is that? They get one of the... One of the uh, clams to release um, sperm, and then the other ones will start releasing eggs. And like then, a signal. Yeah, basically. Like a news station signal that we're doing right now. That's right. <laughs> and you only, need, you only need one. So once you get one to spawn, we actually videotape spawning on our Facebook page of Crocea clams. Sweet. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, Josh, I know you got some food right there because yeah, yeah. this is what gets the clownfish excited? Yeah, they're little pigs. That's so what are it. they eating right now? Um, they're eating mices. What, like a bunch of mice? They're like... Small shrimp. Small shrimp, okay, mysis. Basically. And while we're on the subject of reproduction, I did not know this, but Todd, uh, how do clowns reproduce? Well, I think what you're asking is they're all males when they were first born. Okay. So basically... No matter what. No matter what, they're all males, and they can only change sex one time. So in one time in their life, they have a choice. If they want to change, they can? The only way that happens is if you have, say, you got 25 clownfish here, um, one of the fish will become dominant, and so becoming dominant means they're going to be to eat more, get healthier, bigger, and then it changes sex, and then the next dominant male becomes her mate. So, and then it's a, just a vicious cycle, I guess. Yeah, so some, <laughs> some clownfish never change, though. There could be, like, you know, 50 clownfish around a giant anemone, and they're, they're males their entire life. Look at that. Well, you learn something new every day. We're going to toss it back to you in the studio and talk about their amazing sale coming up next. And sure, question for you guys. If you could change once in your life, would you? No. Would you? <laughs> no. No. I don't think so. I wouldn't either. Just tell them, Cameron, I'm never going to be able to look at Nemo the same ever yeah, again. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Cam. All right, a little Zen time now. Mm -hmm. We're going to escape back to the coral reefs. Oh, very nice. Cameron Fontana live at Reef Systems Coral Farm, where they're actually growing coral in New Albany. Hi, Cam. Hey guys, that's right. We've shown you a lot of the huge tanks and we're back with Josh over here. Now, Josh, this is a great way if people want to kind of get started into coral reefs uh, to have something at home on your desk, right? Yeah, this is um, a 2.6 gallon spec tank. Um, you can start out, you know, with uh, a couple clownfish and we have a cleaner shrimp back here. Oh, look at that. So to kind of build this one, and we're going to continue to build it, you put a big piece of coral in there already, right? That's a piece of live rock, yeah. Oh, live rock. Okay, see, I'm learning something yeah. new. So you got live rock, and then you're doing a lot of the small ones that are going to eventually grow. Is that right? That's correct. Cool. Yeah. So we have more in here. I'm going to hand you this one. So this will grow over time. You can actually see, um, see it really form and get bigger, right? Yeah, it's going to use the lights that we put on here. And um, after we put our clownfish in, we'll go ahead and put the light on. Um, you know, most people think salt water, the, the salt water hobby is really expensive yeah. and, and it's hard to do. I was with, about to say, is it high maintenance? Um, no, it's really not. Uh, every day we kind of just take a 16 ounce cup of water out and put a 16 ounce cup of water in. Um, we sell all the water here. It's only about $15 a year to do a water change oh, on this tank. Oh, that's not bad. like a buck a month. And the, these tanks, you know, we're probably about 200 to $250. So. You know, they're educational for your kids, they look great, yeah. and they're very easy to get started. And, and we can help along the way with everything. Now, um, speaking of helping, uh, you're going to be giving one of these away, is that true? Yes, actually, it's going to be this tank. Um, if you go to our Facebook page and uh, like it, we're going to post a picture of this and uh, like our Facebook page and post a comment. Uh, we're going to give this tank away. Nice. So um, it's, it's local pickup only, but, you know, visit our Facebook. Um, Look at that. Oops, the light just came unplugged here. Oh, that's here. okay. So make sure you visit the Facebook page, and it's Reef Systems Coral Farm. Reef Systems Coral Farm. Great, and there's the light, and that looks beautiful. We're going to toss it back to you. You can win this. Woo! Wow. I think I want one of those. That's cool. That is really cool. That is very cool. Huh. And welcome back. You know, there is a way for you to bring a piece of the coral reef to your own home. And to do it safely and legally, it turns out. <laughs> yeah. Cameron Fontana is at a coral reef farm in New Albany. Huh. So Cam, have you learned a whole lot today? 
Hey, welcome back, guys. That's right. We're at Reef Systems Coral Farm. We're back with Todd. Now, Todd, you told me these shrimp do something pretty cool. What is it? Um, they're cleaner shrimp, so in the wild, they would set up little cleaning stations, and fish would come by to get clean. Like, they clean parasites, <laughs> dead scales. They'll climb into gills and take parasites off, and they're obviously thinking you're a fish. Oh, my gosh. And it doesn't hurt at all, but basically, they're cleaning all the bacteria off and everything? Yeah, they, they clean like all kinds of different parasites. When they're, they're looking for something to eat. Obviously, they're not finding it. <laughs> um, you don't have parasites on you. So. No, I don't, not that I know of. So it's like an ocean mani-pedi. That's right. Very nice. So these guys are also involved in a sale you have going on next yeah. week. Talk about that. Our eighth year anniversary sale is gonna be next week, uh, the 24th to the 28th. Uh, we're gonna be having 30% off um, all the livestock. We're giving away a ton of stuff from our, our vendors that really support us. Um, and then we're also going to raffle off that uh, tank that you helped build. Right. So if people want more information, if they want to start a coral tank in their own house, how can they get a hold of you guys? They can go to our website, reefsystems.com. They can contact, contact us through there. And then also they can go to our Facebook page. We'll have more information about our sale there. They can sign up to win that tank. Awesome. Well, Todd, thank you so much for letting us come out here. Anytime. Uh, man, it's like a, what, a fish tank for your TV screen. We're going to put it back over here. You can just watch this all oh day. Oh my gosh. That's, it, it would just be mesmer mesmerizing, just wouldn't, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be? Uh, uh, we need that. Yep.